Ichu had to make this split letter monogram in Cricut Design Space. This is my most popular uh, video tutorial on TikTok. However, TikTok limits you to one minute. So I got a comment saying that my tutorial was as clear as mud. So we're gonna bring it over here, slow it down a bit so that everybody can get it. I just made this one, um, but the video did not work. So we are gonna start from scratch. We are gonna do a new project in Cricut Design Space. Right, so I'm going to start over here in the left-hand column. I am going to insert text, and I'm going to do the letter S, and then I'm going to come up here to the top, and I'm gonna do a system font, and I wanna look for Times New Roman. This is my favorite font for this type of project, but you can do whatever you want, and that's the great thing about doing it here yourself. You can customize it completely to your liking. So next, I'm gonna go to images, and I already searched Flourish for my last project. So if you would like to add in a little something extra, now would be the time to do so. So I inserted my Flourish. Now I'm going to use this rotate tool in the corner to turn it a little bit, line it up over my letter, I'm going to resize it a little bit as well. And then I'm going to select all up here on top. And just a few tools down from that is the align. And we are going to center it. Now, actually, I don't like that. So I'm just going to rotate this a little bit more. And now I'm going to select it all again and center it again. And now the next step is going to be to welt. Now I'm going to start by inserting a shape over here on the left hand again. I'm going to select a square, but we are going to unlock the lock on the bottom left. Make sure it's unlocked so that we can manipulate this any way we'd like. This is going to make the outside frame for the word, the name that you're going to put inside of the split letter. So I think that is a probably as big as I want it. I'm going to go up to the top again, select all. Once again, I'm going to align and center it. And then I will weld this all together. Now the next step is to cut a rectangle out of the previous rectangle to make that frame shape. So I selected shapes, insert shapes here on the left again, square once again. We are once again going to unlock it on the bottom left corner. And I am going to start, well, start resizing my rectangle. Um, and that'll show me, you know, more or less the size of the frame. But what I'm going to want to do first is select it all, align center to make sure it's completely even and that the top and bottom frames are even. And now since it's still selected all, I can slice this time. Um, and when you're slicing, you want to make sure, here, let me go back. When you are slicing, you can only slice from two objects at a time. So that's why everything is welded on to that first S and the shape and all that. And then we select the second rectangle is the second shape. And so we will slice, it will cut out. There will be three different pieces that we are going to delete. And there we have our frame. And now we can go back to the left hand column, select text again. I'm going to type in the name for this monogram, bring it up here, and I'm going to make it a bit larger. Oh, and that actually, it fits perfectly. So what I'm going to do next is once again, select all, and I'm gonna align it center. And then the great thing about knowing how to do this, if you wanted this in a different font, you could totally do that. Um, let's see. This is a favorite of mine. 
See, I just have to make it a little bit smaller, but I'll keep my Times New Roman because I like that best. So we're going to select all. You can also drag your mouse over all the pieces instead of pressing the button up top. Select it all, center it once again, and now this time you can either attach or weld. I would recommend attaching so that when you go to make it, it's all one piece. However, if in the future you wanted to take the name out, you could delete it. Um, once you weld it, it's welded there and it's complicated to get out. So since this is attached, you can click make it. It will all show up there as one piece. It's going to cut out all together. And there's your monogram.